what is up everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're talking about my biggest mistake I made uh, in my sort of fitness journey if you will because I made a lot of mistakes but by far this one held me back the most and if I hadn't have made this mistake I would have made a lot of more progress much faster had I not got into it so let's begin um, when I first started out training, uh, when I was like 15, went to the gym. Um, I used to just do the same exercises every single day. I would go on the treadmill for 40 minutes and then I would go do all the machines and then I would just do some freeway exercises that I'd seen other people in the gym do and then I just copied them. <laughs> and I did the exact same thing every single day. Uh, me and my friend did it and then one day this guy goes, lads, I see you guys in the gym every single day. You're doing the same thing every day. You clearly don't know what you're doing. Do you want me to show you? And we kind of just both looked at each other and we're like, yeah, please. So um, he shows us what to do. He tells us, okay, so you want to train each muscle group on different days. You want to do roughly three exercises for each muscle group. Uh, do sets of 10, three sets of 10, something like that, a good starting point. And after learning that, I started to actually see some progress. And I was like, okay, yeah, this makes sense. But then, so naive and just a typical sort of teenage boy mentality, is I thought I knew it all. You know, I wasn't receptive to new information. I wasn't actively going on YouTube. Uh, although fitness YouTube hadn't really taken off, uh, going back this far but you know I wasn't sort of open to researching and finding other answers I just thought yeah 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 I know what I'm doing now uh, I'm just gonna do it and I had this mentality for a long time actually and it really held me back because if you think you know everything you're not open to learning anything new and you're not open to trying anything new and if you're not getting the results that uh, you want right now chances are it's because you don't know what to do because if you knew what to do you would have the results if you knew how to make a million pounds you would already have a million pounds if you knew how to build the best physique of your life you would already have the best physique of your life so chances are you don't know what to do but typically lads like sort of teenage lads and young men we don't like to listen and I was no different okay I just didn't like to listen I thought I knew better and I was just like no I'm gonna do it my way and I've done this not just in in my fitness career but in other areas of my life as well and it definitely held me back quite a lot and really uh, my results started to transform a lot when I kind of dropped my ego and decided okay there's people who clearly know a lot more than I do how can I learn from them? And I started to watch a lot of YouTube videos. I started to study. I started to kind of just learn about different aspects of training and nutrition and lifestyle and how to build a strong physique. And it just became like almost like an obsession of mine. I would just do it in my spare time, uh, on my lunch breaks, um, before I go to bed. Um, I didn't. I don't watch TV. I've never really been into TV. I would just watch YouTube videos and just learn and just it just didn't really feel like work or learning it just it was almost a form of entertainment for me and that's when I really started to progress and sort of the, the biggest sort of change uh, for me or like the key defining moment was when I hired a coach and that's when things completely changed because I had someone who was personally invested in my success because it helps his business and I've paid him money um, but he's already traveled the path that I'm trying to go on so he knows exactly what to do and he's already been there and he, he's been there with many other clients already so all I had to do is just do what he told me and I'm not I wasn't the most coachable person okay I didn't like to listen to other people I didn't like to admit that I didn't have all the answers but I was like you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna listen to this guy. I'm just gonna do what he says. Let's just try it for three months. Let's just see what happens. And within three, four weeks, I was like, oh, okay, right. I don't know everything. Clearly, I'm making more progress now than I have done for a very long time. Clearly, I was doing some things wrong and uh, you don't know everything. 
And now it's got to the point where the older I get and the more that I learn about a specific topic, whether it's fitness or nutrition or business or you know anything else in life, the more I learn about the topic, the more I realize I don't understand. And the less confident I feel about sort of giving answers or not feeling like I know everything. Like if I could go back in time and I could go back to being a teenager and I just had like a student mentality. I just had no ego and I was like, okay, what do I want to achieve? Um, who's done what I want to do and how can I learn from them? Maybe I can just consume their free content. Maybe they got some paid content. Maybe they got an online course. Maybe they do coaching and I can work with them directly. For sure, if you want to take the shortest path to where you want to go, it is very simple. You've just got to find someone who has done what you want to do and copy them. Get close to them. Get, get close to them however you can. Maybe you can just consume their free content and that's all you can do. No problem. That's better than nothing. Maybe they've got some pay content. Maybe you could buy some courses. Maybe they've written a book. Do something. You know, Get as close to them and consume all their information as much as you can really what you want to try and do is just transfer their knowledge from their head into your head a bit like the matrix have you seen the matrix where um you know one of the guys wants to learn how to uh, fly a helicopter i think it is and he's like hey um you know give me uh, the skills to fly a helicopter and then they press a few buttons and boom he's a pilot he knows how to fly a helicopter okay you want to treat it like that, but it's not going to be an instant thing. It's going to take, depending on what you want to try and learn, it's going to take months, maybe even years. But if you work with a coach one-on-one, -on -one, that is how you can fast track this. And, and you can make significant progress in weeks, which would have taken you years and years and years to figure out. Like if I'd have just done this when I was a teenager, I would have made insane amounts of progress. Insane. Like I, looking back, I just... You say have no regrets, but I, I would say that is definitely a big regret of mine. But everything happens for a reason. And maybe I didn't do that so I could learn this lesson and I saw I could make videos and I, so I could coach people to not make the same mistakes that I have. And I see this right now. Like one of my friends, um, he doesn't watch these videos. Uh, but if he did, if he, if he did watch this video, he would for sure know <laughs> that this is about him. But he always comes to me for advice he's like James what do you think about this thing what do you think about this thing sometimes it's about training sometimes it's about nutrition sometimes it's about work or his business uh, and other times it's just about living in Bali or just some stuff to do with Bali this has happened quite a few times now he's like hey man uh, this is what I'm dealing with what do you think or what's your advice and every single time I've taken the time to um, you know think about what he said and give a thoughtful reply and just give my perspective okay and every single time he's ignored what I've said he's decided that it, you know, he just thinks he's very stubborn he just knows what to do and he does the opposite and then <laughs> it turns out that he made the wrong decision and he could have, should have just listened to me or someone else he's extremely stubborn to the point, I don't actually know why he even bothers to uh, ask for advice because he doesn't follow it anyway. And it's got to the point now that when he asks for advice, I just say, well, what do you think you should do? And he's like, I think I should do this. I'm like, yeah, do that. Because there's no point in uh, trying to tell this guy anything. It's just a waste of time and energy and breath and mental bandwidth because he's not gonna do anything with that information anyway. He's not a coachable person. And if he came to me and said, oh, James, you know, um, I think I'm ready for coaching. I want to be coached by you. I wouldn't even coach him. I wouldn't even coach him because he wouldn't listen anyway. And it would just be extremely frustrating for me. And it would, I don't know whether it would be frustrating for him, but he's got to, he's, there's got to be some kind of frustration deep inside him at the moment because he sees people around him who are making significant progress and he isn't yet he thinks he knows better <laughs> and i can i can laugh about this now because i've been in that situation as well but really what you have to do is drop your ego okay understand that you don't know everything even the smartest person in the world elon musk arguably one of the smartest people in the world 
he doesn't know everything no one has all the answers so what makes you think you're any different so all you need to do is just find someone or people out there who have done what what it is that you're trying to get good at whether it's business whether it's marketing whether it's some kind of personal development whether it's your physique um, find people who have done what you want to do get close to them consume their content hire them as a coach if they do that and learn from them as much as possible because that is the fastest way to get to your goals that is the fastest way to get to where you want to go and it can save you years of frustration years of precious time which by the way we're only here for a certain amount of time right and the clock's ticking and if you're like oh okay yeah that's all very well and good james but my situation's different da, 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 da. look i don't care what you do okay it's no difference to me what you do or don't do but if you have this ego and if you're stubborn and you think you know better you're just going to end up like my friend who is still not making any progress people around him are progressing and he's not yet he's too stubborn to to uh, change because he thinks he knows better so if that's you maybe something to think about um, hope this helps and i will talk to you in the next one